when we look at the reasons for attic ventilation and the benefits that attic ventilation delivers, they can be boiled down into two basic reasons, just two. Any other additional benefits, prolonging the life of the shingle, energy efficiency improvement, better indoor air quality, they all can be tied to these two primary benefits. Fight heat in the summer, fight moisture in the winter. That's it. Additionally, in cold climates, Illinois, it helps us to fight ice dams. Let's look at these a little closer. If we want the attic ventilation system to tackle heat and moisture, we want all of that from the attic ventilation system, it better be balanced. All right, the contractor is in front of the project. He knows he should ventilate and he has to pick a vent for the project. What vent will he pick? We recommend ridge vents as choice number one when it comes to picking an exhaust vent because of bullet point number two. It provides something none of the other four categories can give us. Continuous flow of air. No gaps, no dead spots. Continuous from low on the deck, if you give a good intake, to high on the deck along the entire horizontal peak of the deck because we're installing this thing end to end on the roof. Give a good intake, no dead spots. Power fans, turbines, gable louvers, rooftop louvers cannot make that claim. Wind is a much greater mover of air. When wind hits a house, it creates high pressure in yellow, low pressure in purple. High pressure can actually push air back into the exhaust vent. We don't want that. Low pressure purple can pull air out of the vent, enhancing the vent's performance. We want purple whenever we can get it. I'm going to show you right now how we can get purple frequently. Let's say the project has 10, but only 10, linear feet horizontally at the peak. 10 feet of shingle vent 2 isn't going to cut it. Very unlikely. But if you want, put 10 feet of shingle vent 2 horizontally. Go ahead. And then get the balance of what you're missing with the hip ridge vent. It'll work in conjunction with a horizontal ridge vent. We are done with exhaust, please. The contractor picked the exhaust vent for the project. Boy, we hope it's a ridge vent. What's he going to do now to balance that ridge vent with intake? There are plenty of intake vent choices out there. Here they are. Word of caution about vented soffit. Please check with the manufacturer what is the NFA spec, especially if you're using a ridge vent. Ridge vent gives you 18 net free area per foot. That means you need a pair of nines to balance 18. Not every brand of vented soffit on the market yields nine per foot. Just check with the manufacturer what is the NFA. So, the contractor's in front of the house. The homeowner is looking to him or her for guidance. I've got a 2,000 square foot attic, Mr. Roofer. Tell me, please, how much ventilation do I need? What's his answer going to be? I'll walk you through it. You know, currently, code, despite their every three-year cycle, still remains silent about volume of an attic. It's all based on square footage of an attic. We're not silent about it. We give you three roof pitch choices because as the volume of an attic changes, increases, the amount of ventilation is affected. So here's what we do. On our slide chart, up to 612 roof pitch, the numbers are dead set. One over 150, half high, half low. 712 pitch to 1012, we bump it up by 20%. 1112 pitch and steeper, we increase it by 30%. This is in the slide chart. We'll give all of you one on your way out. A word about installation, please. If the contractor isn't going to follow the manufacturer's instruction sheet because it's going to give the vent the best chance to perform and because it's going to keep the vent under warranty, if that's not reason enough, then please know this. It's a violation of building code to ignore the manufacturer's instruction sheet. That was effective January 1st, 2012. So when you get this objection, 
Why do I need balanced ventilation all of a sudden, roofer? I've never had it before, and I lived here 20 years. And when you get this objection, why out of the five bids in my hand is your bid the only one that says balanced? The other four don't. Why you? When you get those objections, maybe you can tackle them with a little more strength. Troubleshooting. I like having in my back pocket the ability to conduct a visual inspection inside an attic space should something go wrong or should somebody report something's going wrong. I'm talking about mold or a roof leak. You put spray foam on the inside of the attic space, can I conduct the same visual inspection? 